In this Elementor tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to shrink the header logo image on scroll in Elementor. Okay, so as you can see over here, that this is the logo image I have over here or header logo over here. And if I scroll down, you see it shrinks. Okay, it the width becomes smaller. Okay, let me do it again. You see, okay, so. I'm going to do the exact same thing what I did over here with this uh, logo over here. You see that this, when I scroll down, it doesn't change. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up, open this up, main header in Elementor. Okay. It's opening it up. Okay. It's opened up. So, what I'm going to do. Firstly, I will click on this image over here. I'm going to go to advanced. Okay. Over here, I have some CSS codes. You don't need to understand anything. You simply just follow along what I'm doing over here. Okay. Over here, all you need to do is click. Over, you need to copy this over here. Logo image. Okay. And I'm going to provide this complete code down in the description of this video. Okay. So copy this logo image and go to advanced, scroll down and under CSS classes over here, paste this, okay? Paste this and publish this, okay? Publish the changes or save the changes. Okay, then what you're going to do, you're going to come over here, header settings, go to advanced, okay? Now you're going to uh, select this, uh, select everything over here, the CSS codes. Okay, the same codes which I'm going to provide you in the description. Okay, and you simply paste it over here. Okay, paste it. Now, this is the width. Uh, if you want to have it bigger, let me make it 220 pixels. Okay, over here, max width you see, you change it to 220, and wherever it is, it was 200 pixels, you change it to 220. Okay, copy this, copy. And you paste this over here, okay? Paste uh, wherever it is uh, 200 pixels. I'll paste this over here. Paste this over here. And also uh, paste this over here, okay? Great. When you scroll down, you see uh, it shrinks, okay? And if you want to decide the shrinking, the size, like how many pixels it would become when it shrinks, okay? What you can do, you can change this value over here. 156, you see over uh, 120, okay? 120. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this 120 pixels. Copy this. And paste whatever it is, 156, okay? 120, okay? And over here, you see 156. You change it to 120. Also... 120 okay you now you publish this okay now if you scroll down you see it becomes much uh it shrinks to much smaller size okay and if scroll up you see that it becomes big if i scroll down it becomes again smaller okay let me just check how it looks on the live website okay uh so this is the logo over here and if i scroll down you see it shrinks okay Right. If I scroll up right at the top, it becomes small. Uh, it becomes uh, big. Okay. And another thing you need to make sure you need to click on this header section over here. Go to advanced. Okay. And now uh, go to motion effects. Okay. Over here you see that sticky. It is set to top. Otherwise it won't be sticky. This header. And another thing you need to make sure that the scroll offset is set to have. Uh, certain value so what does the scroll offset means scroll offset means like like after you have scrolled uh up to some pixels this uh, scroll effects would become visible okay so let me just show you. if i remove this okay if i remove this and if i remove this scroll x offset to zero if i change it to zero you see the logo means right from the beginning okay right from the beginning if i refresh it you see this logo is small right from the beginning okay but we don't want that we want the logo to become small 
after we have scrolled down certain pixels okay not right at the beginning right at the beginning the logo should be big when we have scrolled down a bit and only then the logo should uh, become small okay so what i'm going to do i can set the scroll offset to uh, maybe 150 pixels okay so sorry 150 pixels okay so what does the, if i publish this okay so what does this mean it means uh, after i have scrolled down 150 pixels then the logo will shrink okay let's scroll up and refresh it okay you see down now the logo is big if i scroll down you see after i have scrolled down 150 pixels then the logo shrinks then the effect uh, takes place so this is important the scroll offset is very important otherwise uh, this effect won't work so make sure that you have added a scroll offset value at least 150 pixels to 200 pixels okay and you have uh, and go to settings and advance and add the css code and adjust according to your needs okay and another thing you make sure that you add go to select the logo image and you add the css class logo image over here so these are the three things to remember if you want to have this effect this shrinking logo effect in elementor header okay in elementor wordpress so i hope that you have found this video useful and if you did then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you